greetings. Okay, it's uh, about 10.45 at night. And uh, I'm going to leave it open for whoever likes to come, whoever likes to come through. It's been a long day. I'll tell you later. So anyway, alright, much love, blessings. Here we go. In your ancient times, we knew all things of your earth, which we did not call it earth, we had another name for it. This was paradise. You could, I am a an ancient human, you can say I'm from the Adam and Eve source energy consciousness. A name is not important. Derek is a good enough name for your planet. It does not matter. Whatever name that you want to call me, you could call me Sugar Puss or whatever. Whatever it turns you on, names do not matter. What matters is you're fulfilling yourself. Find that fulfillment. Like a burning sensation that you wake up every day wishing to achieve your goals. What excites you? Bring that excitement back. Many do not have that anymore. Many just feel like the ball and chain on this planet. Bring back the energy of excitement that every day matters and every day is an opportunity to live to your fullest. I imagine you've heard this before, but we're telling you again. Because in our ancient times, that's how it was. We had very little sleep, but we lived forever. I'll just leave you with that. We had abilities like you wouldn't believe. Telekinesis, crystal energies... We can connect to your earth, your mother earth. We knew your own mentals. We knew you were aliens. Our time was of peace, but also of discovery because we were all artists. And you are too. Forgotten it. There are different forms of art. There's spiritual arts. There are your mechanical arts. There's different types of arts. Teaching arts. Realize this. And yes, you exercise it. But where is that burning fire of taking what you have and building it out so much? Yes, many are connecting. But yes, it is to let go. To go within and clear out negativity. I realize you've heard this before. Also, these shackles that are on your planet of lower density is not doing your society much good. As for moving up into the higher dimensions. Self-fulfillment. 
self-discovery, self-love. There's a, yes, a harm on your planet, yes. Call it a negativity that has made itself at home for so long here. It needs to be unlocked. The more joy you have for your every day, more excitement, more fire, the higher the density goes up, the more you become a part of your universe. Right now you feel like you're a stranger. You're part of your universe, but you don't understand it. Because of the lessons here that need to be warned, that have clamped you down, closed you down, and put you in a nice box. It is now for you to unlock this box and let yourself glow. Let yourself go, let yourself glow, let yourself express yourselves without fear of judgment. But the vibration of your world is not yes, but understand you can blame any type of other beings, not to say to blame yourself, but realize you have the ability to remove these beings that are manipulating you. Not to go into names, such as Nordic's one, Laren is one, Reptilian, I can go on and on, Gray, yes, they have been fascinating. But for your environment, is to clear your space. Allow the real you to come into formation such as waking up in your mornings so whatever nefarious beings whatever beings that wish to cause me harm yes get lost calling your angels to bring a build a bridge around you as you ground calling your angels for protection because yes there are many beings even on your other side there are not always helpful even your other side beings sometimes can get confused of the truth you'd be surprised trust me I am in spirit if you're wondering where I am and on the other side yes it is not as perfect as it might be it is there is trouble there but it depends if you want to get into it or not if you do not want trouble you'll be fine but there is always something going on, on your other side yes of course it is not perfect. It is perfect, but it is not perfect. I will let you figure that one out on your own. It's not important this time. Well, what's most important is for your survival here and to make your day the best day it can be. We, do, we understand many have difficulties, and those difficulties are there for lessons, yes. But also, you can make those difficulties easier. But I'm letting understand there's always a problem that can be solved somehow ask for the answers for these problems to be solved for this depression to find somewhere else to go you can always ask why am I depressed ask the universe why am I depressed why is this happening you'd be surprised when it will come back and ask clear energy before you do that to tell all beings to scatter how are, you know you can do this figure out what works for you a bubble of light around you, whatever kind of energy around you, and ask your guides, what is troubling? Why do I have this trouble today? Why is this happening? Why is the traffic so bad? Why is this happening? You'd be surprised what comes through. But you have to give yourself the power to connect also. Many have difficulties hearing. You can always close your eyes and see what comes through to talk to you. It's very simple. It's not something I have to make very difficult. But remember, a bubble of light, some sort of whatever you want to put, force field, a a white picket fence around you, whatever it is to clear these beings around you that are not helping you. You want beings around you to be fulfilling. And it's ancestor and spirit, alien. You want the friendly ones with you and the other ones, well, they can be where they need to be. Of course, even yes, we realize that many have to have tests, and where these certain beings need to be here to help you with this test, to test you. And for that, you can find out why am I being tested? Why am I getting this Weirin test from this feline being that's standing right next to me? Why is this reptilian intimidating me? 
putting his negative thoughts in my mind. What's up with him? Understand where I'm going with all this. You see what... One moment. With Adam and Eve energies that's coming through. Yes, they were tested quite much during their time. The what is written in your Bible is false and true. This directed, but it is not. You can connect to that truth on your own. I am not here to tell you what truth is. As for that, I am just here to help you clear your energy, clear your space, your prime creator, God, Yeshua, wherever you find that you feel comfortable with, to clear your space. It'd be good to do this at least once a day in your morning or three or four times a day. Trust me, no one gets bored of that. And the more you do this, you ask, why am I feeling like this? Because you realize many do feel aggravated. We understand that because you're going through a test. Why is my boss so hypocritical? Why is this not? Why do I forget things and then I get fired? Or you understand. Why am I at a job I don't enjoy? You understand. You'd be surprised what will come through. The Adam and Eve energies. You could call it Adam and Eve if you like, but it's up to you. It is not always recommended but sometimes it is because they can also bring much assistance because they've been through many things many challenges same as you okay they don't have to work at McDonald's but you understand they still been through circumstances that they do not care for but they had to be tested as much as you're being tested yes in different environments it was different but either way it is still they have use for information trust me they they keep up with the times they yes they are aware of your modern world let's put it that way they're not that in the dark yes they might be old ancient souls but yes they keep up with the times of your world of course because they are called on many times to bring different levels of of information through channelings yes some of it's very sacred and only for you and some of it's sacred for only a small group not always for this video type of recording this is why we're being quite vague but giving you the tools of connection it's like ah oh, this is sacred information i'd like to connect to adam and eve as for channeling as for healing as for healing also but remember this is only individual this is only for you to connect to individually it's different for everyone and adam and eve have different messages for different people also a moment Yes, the tree of life. You are the tree of life. You are the tree of knowledge. And it's for you to discover what knowledge lives, lives within yourself. You realize that. That is some of the imagery going on there. And you can say it's picking the fruit of yourself. Is what lies beneath the pages. There's different ways of interpreting this. But realize you are this library of... I want to say call Congress, but that is not, not a good example. But a library of great knowledge of your universe, of other universes. Yes, and the Adam and Eve energies can bring much assistance to this. Or, as I said, first off, clear your space. And this is an activity you could try. As when you are having a off day, even a good day, you can ask, thank you for this good day when they... With a friendly spirit like to speak to me. And you'd be surprised what comes through. But as of your, we realize many are having a bad day usually. That's usually quite common on your planet because of the levels of tests. And each individual will be given a different type of message for that. It's like, yes, you asked for this to go through. You want to know more about about your family, about more about yourself. You want to put so much pressure on yourself to see how much you can handle. It's like we're here, you ask for these type of tests. As for, if you don't feel like you're being tested enough, if you're not whining enough, we'll throw another book on you. And you will learn some more until you stop whining, until you start understanding. 
instead of the whining. I know that might make some sense to some, maybe it might make any sense to anyone, but to understand. All these, all this is happening for a reason in your life. It is a puzzle within your life, it is for you to discover it. For us to go ahead and walk you through, we can hint, we can give you a message to help you through this maze called your life. It is up to you on your journey to discover this knowledge on your own. Yes, channelings are nice, but it's for you to do the discovering on your own. But there has yeah, to be much more messages to be more clear. But at this time, remember, it all lives within you. Your Venus, your Mars, Pluto, all these planets, your Pleiades, your Arturian worlds, etc., etc. All of this lives within you. It's like, why did I come into this ex in this planet, for example? Is like, yes, I was an Arcturian and never had a human lifetime. I might as well come into a time when humanity begins to connect to aliens and be able to give humanity messages, even if they think I'm insane. For example. For example. <laughs> You understand that some of this information is here to just awaken the soul just enough where you can discover everything else on your own. The spirit world, yes, many came into this world not knowing anything to, yes, build out a new reality, but also to test oneself. It's like, how much mystery can I handle? I realize, yes, that many wish they had more information, yes. But the more that you are not living, the less information you have. The more you are living, the more information you will have. The more action from you is the more, light, more information you will have. You understand. The more you're sitting around asking for certain things, yes, you will get information here and there, yes. But the more that you do, the more that will come back. As for useful knowledge of unlocking the mystery that is you. It is a long mystery that your density cannot even handle understanding all of it. You have to move up a vibration to understand it all. You understand. I said that twice, but anyway. Many are have reincarnations from Egypt, ancient Egypt. Many took a break from this society and now are coming back with Egyptian lifetimes of spiritual lifetimes. But they did live a life of oppression also, as you are. But now it's making it easier to reconnect to your spiritual existence. Because it's like you just left that lifetime. Now many have had many lifetimes before that. But they can like cloud those up a little bit. And connect just to your Egyptian lifetime if you like. You understand. There's different ways of allowing one lifetime to be activated. Another one to be eh, kind of in the corner. But still working with you. But not so significant. If that makes sense to you. It's like you're going backwards. In Egypt, you were very spiritual and became very unspiritual. For many, not all. And in here, you're coming from an unspiritual society going to a more spiritual society. So you're reactivating, re-remembering, rebirth. And we guarantee you, you will see Egyptian-like structures such as your pyramids being brought into your environment once again when you're at a higher density level you are not ready for these things but we do see a renewal of earth 
in many advanced type of technologies such as your pyramids being brought back to your society. Many were actually taken away during your ancient times because you were not able to handle them anymore. They were not pyramids, they were other devices, but I would leave you with that. Yes, we are brief for that message. But we feel it's enough for you tonight. Blessings. And take care of yourself. When you look in the mirror, crest the mirror. Love yourself. Really, a spirit is here with you. We love you. Never feel like you're alone. Because you're not. We hear every word. Especially around your technologies when they don't work very well. We hear that very well. But we hear all things. If you need answers, we have answers. You need you have questions, we have answers. But yes, the answers are most easily connected within here to be unraveled, yes. Much more to see.